What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can join and apply to CBSA. Let's get right into this. So the first thing I'm going to mention is what CBSA stands for and the reason for that is there's a lot of people that are new to Canada and are new to looking into different career opportunities and they don't know what CBSA stands for and what that is is Canada's Border Service Agency. Now if you plan on joining CBSA, please be aware that they can post you anywhere in Canada. Now if you do not speak French, then they will not post you in Quebec, but they can post you anywhere else in Canada. There are three things that you need before you can apply to CBSA. The first thing is to be a Canadian citizen or have the permanent residency. The second thing is to have a high school diploma or the equivalents. Now there's always a rumor that you need to have college or university, for example, police foundations, criminologies, law, and etc. That is just considered an asset. That's not a requirement for entering and applying to CBSA. It's considered an asset, but you don't need it. The one thing you do need is your high school diploma or the equivalents. And the third thing that you need for applying to CBSA is a valid driver's license. Now, after you apply online and have been accepted, you will have to take the entrance exam, which is the next step. The entrance exam consists of 117 multiple choice questions. You will be given one week to complete the exam. Now, once you start the exam, you must complete it in that setting. You can't stop and come back to it a couple hours later or a couple days later. It doesn't work like that. Once you start it, you must complete it. You will have 135 minutes to do so. Any questions not answered in that time frame and not completed are considered wrong answers and will count against your total score. With that being said, it is still not recommended to rush the exam. This is a big exam for you. So it is recommended to answer the questions to the best of your ability in a timely manner. The test will consist of four parts, reasoning skills, analytical thinking, client service, and writing skills. You will have to pass each part with a 70% or higher. The first time that I took the entrance exam, I was a little bit shocked at that because I thought it was going into it as like a normal exam, whether they grade it as a whole, but the CBSA entrance exam, they actually grade it per section. So the first part I got 90%, the next part I got 80%, then I got the 70% and then the last part I only got 50% and because I got 50% on one of them, I failed the entire exam. So keep that in mind so that you do have to pass each part with a 70% or higher. To get your results, usually you will receive them within two weeks of taking the test by email. In some cases, especially post COVID, it may take longer and it also depends on how many people took the exam. Now, unfortunately, if you did fail the exam, you will have to wait one full year from the time you took the test before you can take it again. Once you do complete the entrance exam, you will start the selection process, which may take up to 18 months to complete. They will contact you with the dates, times, and locations to do the following, an interview, psychological assessments, a medical exam, second language evaluation, and now that is optional if you do not want to uh, speak French and you don't want to bilingual position, then they are not gonna post you in Quebec, but you will not have to do this if you're not considering a bilingual position. If you do not pass one of those during the selection process, you will have to start over and you will have to wait one full year before you can retake the entrance exam. You will need to pass the entrance exam again to get back into the selection process. So even if you pass the entrance exam the first time and during the selection process, if you fail at any of those parts, you do have to start over, which means you do have to take that entrance exam again and pass before advancing once again. You must also get secret security clearance and submit the forms and give your consent to do so. There are also two things that you must complete on your own during the selection process. The first is your physical fitness evaluation known as the PAIR. It consists of an obstacle course, a push and pull station, and a weight carry station. The obstacle course and the push and pull stations are timed and must be completed in four minutes and 45 seconds or less. 
the weight carry station is a pass or fail. The other thing that you must complete on your own is the unrestricted and the restricted firearms safety course. I've talked about both of these in previous videos on the channel, one or a couple of few years ago, and then one recently I did make an update on it. I recommend checking out those videos, but the course itself is super easy. You'll gain a lot of knowledge and you don't need to have any knowledge of firearms or ammunition before taking and attending the courses. So the courses are going to be easy, but you must complete them and get them done before you finish the selection process for CBSA. Now, once you have completed and passed everything in the selection process, you will start your training to become a CBSA agent. First, you will have some online training, which is self-paced, but it must be completed within five weeks. You will receive an allowance of $125 a week during that training. Once the online training is complete, you will be invited to start your in-residence training at the CBSA College in Rigaud, Quebec. I probably mispronounced that. This portion is 13 weeks long. Now, CBSA will provide transportation from the airport to the campus and all the meals are provided in the cafeteria. During that 13 weeks, you will also receive the allowance of $125 a week for any of your other basic living expenses. Now, once training on campus is complete, you will start the on-the-job training, which will take 12 to 18 months to complete. Now this portion is paid and as a trainee, your salary will be between sixty-nine dollars to $77,000 a year. Now during the application process, you are asked to select three locations for the on-the-job training portion. CBSA will try their best to post you at one of these locations during the training, but once your training is complete, they can post you anywhere in Canada, so keep that in mind. Now once you finish the on-the-job training, you will officially be a CBSA agent, and the pay will be a lot more than it was as a trainee, but I decided to leave that out of this video because your union can go and renegotiate and that pay may change, so I decided just to not even bother mentioning what it currently is. So hopefully this video has helped everybody understand how to apply and become a CBSA agent. I tried to break it down and give the most information that I have in any of my previous videos on this topic because there's a lot of people that are asking for updated videos so I decided to finally do it because sometimes some of the steps do change along the way but this is currently how it is. So now you guys know everything about what you need to have before applying to CBSA, a little bit about the entry entrance exam, the selection process, and the training portion for CBSA as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and good luck on applying to CBSA. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.